Om Shanti and welcome back. We are here with the 17th of July's Godly Blessing where Supreme Godfather wants us to become a trustee. When we are a trustee, we are a lighter person. We don't feel too much of responsibility over all the things which we call it as mine. When we don't call everything as mine or my, then we become lighter and God works his way through us then. So let's understand what does Godfather have to say here. God says, may you be a complete trustee and finish the weakness of any consciousness. May you be a complete trustee and finish the weaknesses of any consciousness of mind and experience fullness. So if you live as an instrument, according to the Father Srimat, God is giving us the guidance that you would live as an instrument. Nothing belongs to you, even this body doesn't belong to us as a soul. And we have come over here to play our role. So if you are just instruments even playing and using this body for that purpose, then there's no attachment to this body. There's no myness or mindness with this body also and things of this body. So if you live as an instrument according to the Father Srimad, then you neither have my family nor my center. The center over here is pertaining to the center which the Brahma Kumari sisters are taking care of. So there's no attachment to that also and no attachment to my family, my things, my house for those who are staying at home. You are a trustee while living with your family and while at a center. So if you are somebody who's staying at a center, then this knowledge is for you and even for a person who's staying in the family. It is the father's center, not mine. Similarly, it is God's house, not mine. It is God's given gifts of knowledge, not mine. It's God given gift of a house, clothes, food to eat, not mine. Therefore, it is always a treasure store, bhandari of father and a bhandari, bhandara kitchen of the father, Brahma. That means even your house, your food, the wealth, everything will be taken care of provided you are taking care of it with divine values and divine power. If you are mixing it up, then God has another message for you. So God says, by having this awareness, you will experience fullness. If you have any consciousness of mine, there won't be anything left in the Bhandara or the Bhandari. So if you're mixing it up, you're thinking about it as my way, the highway, I'll run it my way. I'll use all my methods. I'm the one who's supposed to guide everybody. I'm supposed to be the one who's supposed to tell everybody what to do. And you take everything, every responsibility onto yourself and become heavy in your mind and get irritated, frustrated and start using all the vices. Automatically, the Bhandari and the Bhandara starts emptying up. So God says if there is anything lacking in any task, the reason for it is that you have the consciousness of mind. Instead of it being the father's, that is, impurity is mixed with it. So if you think that it is your house, if it's supposed to be run your way, then you'll be lonely. If you think it's your own center, you're supposed to run it your way, your methods, your thoughts should only work and nobody else's, then you'll be lonely and everybody will leave you. So God wants us to be open and work it out in a pure, powerful manner so that everybody feels God's presence in your house and also in your place of service, which is a center. How do we do this? How do we bring about God's presence in the house so that everything falls in place? How do we bring about God's presence in the center so that everything falls in place? Here's what you learn in Brahma Kumaris. With this, Om Shanti.